Greetings, welcome to YouTube Movie Recapped. Today I will be explaining an American horror comedy film, called, Cocaine Bear, inspired by true events. Warning, spoilers ahead, be alert, and be safe. The film opens up with a man, who is high on drugs, tossing duffel bags containing cocaine out of a plane. After tossing out all the duffel bags, he straps on his parachute and a pair of cool shades. Adrenaline pump through his veins as he gets ready to jump out of the plane. He jumps but slips out of the plane. In the next scene, we're introduced to the tourist, Olaf Christopher and Elsa, enjoying their nature walk while discussing their upcoming wedding. While, walking through the woods, Olaf, spots a bear acting unusual. Elsa grabs the binoculars to look and see what he was talking about, but all she saw was a bear acting all cute and adorable. As Olaf grabs the binoculars to see through them, he is startled to find the bear staring back at him from a much shorter distance than he anticipated. They immediately start running away. Then, Olaf trips along the way and the bear catches up to them. Elsa turns around and the bear ends up killing her. So Olaf runs away. After the incident involving the man who jumped out of the plane, the police were able to identify him the following day. His name was Andrew C. Thornton too. A drug trafficker. Next, we meet David and Sid White. Two drug dealers talking about the late Andrew Thornton. But, they only care about the duffel bags which happen to be jam-packed with an astounding 30 kilos of cocaine. Later that day, Dee Dee, and Henry, decided to skip school and visit a waterfall to draw. They know the school will call their parents, to inform them that their kids aren't at school, but they don't seem to care. After a bike ride, the mom, sorry, decides to rest after a nice shower. Until, the phone rings, scaring the bleep out of her. The school informs Sari that her daughter isn't in school. Then she notices a book bag in her front yard. She takes everything out of the book bag, and discovers a map with a location called Secret Falls Circle. She then takes her bike and goes to the location. However, the kids are marking trees so they don't get lost, until, Dee Dee discovers an unusual package in a bush. She calls Henry to tell him. It's drugs, I think. They come to the conclusion that it's cocaine. Henry then acts like he knows all about cocaine, and says he's done it. Dee Dee, rips open the package, and tells Henry to prove it. Henry suddenly takes hold of a knife and uses it to scoop up some cocaine. After he puts it in his mouth, he quickly spits it out, and Dee Dee laughs. Dee Dee, then tries eating it, and has the oh, same reaction. The a few seconds later, Dee Dee finds more cocaine, but this time, it looks like something got to it first. In the next scene, a bear suddenly appears in the background, then they hear something behind them so they turn around. They are shocked to see a bear. They stand very still. The bear ends up sneezing cocaine onto their face, making the kids panic and run away. The mom, sorry, makes it to the visitor center looking for Ranger Liz. She asks the ranger if she has seen her daughter. The ranger tells the mom that her daughter must be a runaway. The mom gets frustrated and asks for directions to Secret Falls. They tell her that they are headed over there right now, and they allow her to accompany them. Ranger Liz tells sorry that there's a gang of delinquent teens, who attack visitors in the forest, and that she must be careful. They're called, do champs. We then see David and Eddie arrive at the visitor center. David casually washes his hands after using the bathroom, until he notices the do champs gang staring at him. Stash, ends up swinging a knife at David. David, then knocks him down. They all start to get knocked down one by one. They try to get back up again, but David knocks them down again. He even throws one of them in the toilet, and kicks him. A few seconds later, he notices a knife in his back end. This is when, Eddie comes in the bathroom and sees three teens knocked out. David then tells him that they tried to kill him, and Eddie finds a pack of cocaine on the teens. So they wake up Stash and question him on where he found the drugs. Stash, doesn't give him an answer, until they threaten to shoot him if he doesn't lead them to the other packs of cocaine. Then they go on a trip. The mom makes it to Secret Falls and starts calling out her kid's name. She then hears kids calling out for help but doesn't see them. She walks towards their voice and finds Henry on a tree. The mom gets extremely mad, but then the kid quickly tells Sorry that a bear attacked him, and that the bear took Dee Dee. The mother starts feeling extremely afraid, and then everyone starts hearing something moving close. The mother ends up seeing a crazy bear attack the ranger and Peter. Ranger Liz starts shooting towards Peter thinking it's the bear, when the whole time the bear was right behind her. The bear then attacks the ranger, and throws her, causing her to accidentally shoot her gun and, almost killing the mom. Ranger Liz is terribly wounded, so she leaves everyone behind. Peter climbs a tree while he's scared. Henry tells Peter that he is safe because bears can't climb trees. But then Peter remembers bears can climb trees. While Sari hides behind a tree, the bear comes out of nowhere and starts climbing the tree. It starts heading towards Henry. As the bear gets closer, Sari and Peter tell Henry to climb higher. Henry almost slips and the bear gets closer to Henry. The bear almost attacks Henry until it smelled the cocaine on Peter's shirt. Peter quickly brushes off his shirt, 
but the bear is very fast and climbs up on his tree killing him. Henry quickly climbs down while the bear eats Peter's leg. Sorry and Henry get out of there as fast as possible. Ranger Liz makes it to the visitor's center and tells a teen there to call the ambulance. While reloading her weapon, she notices a knife on the table and realizes they are the do champs. She threatens to shoot them out of anger, until one of them says there's someone outside. She then tells one of them to open the door for her while she aims her gun. To everyone's surprise, it's the bear sitting down. The ranger tries to shoot at the bear but completely, misses the shot killing one of the do champs teens. The bear then goes away, but comes back, catching one of them off guard. Detective Bob Springs arrives at the visitor's center, not knowing what just happened inside. The mom and Henry, find clues that Dee Dee left so they start to follow it. At the same time the ambulance arrives at the visitor's center. As they struggle to go inside, they end up seeing a dead body and blood everywhere. The female quickly goes to assist the ranger while the guy goes into a room and sees a severed head fall down. He then sees a bear in the corner of the room slowly walking towards him. So he slowly closes the door in fear, but the bear ends up breaking the door down. He meets the bear face to face, while the female EMT gets ranger Liz to safety. He then hits the bear in the face with a duffel bag, the bear thinking it's cocaine, leaves the guy alone. So he runs for his life. He makes it onto the truck after the driver almost leaves him. A few seconds later, Ranger Liz almost shoots the EMT guy with her horrible accuracy while aiming for the bear. She ends up missing her shot, and the bear does a crazy super jump and gets inside of the truck. While in the ambulance, the bear throws the Ranger out causing her to die. The driver stops the vehicle not knowing the bear is inside, giving the bear the perfect time to kill the guy. She starts driving without looking forward and ends up hitting a tree, killing everyone but the bear. The film cuts back to David, Eddie, and Stash. They are still headed on their way to find a gazebo, because this is where Stash said all the packs of cocaine are. While conversating, Stash tells them that his gang were his best buddies and how they were planning on moving to New York City. While they walk towards the gazebo, Detective Bob Springs gets to one first. He decides to take a seat and relax in the hot weather, until, he notices a suspicious bag when he looks up to the ceiling. So he tries to retrieve it to see what's inside. The movie then cuts to a mysterious character getting out of his car and taking out a rifle. This is when the drug dealer and the teen make it to the gazebo, but upon arrival, Stash tells them that the package is no longer there. David gets very mad and takes his gun out, but Stash promised that the package was there. Out of nowhere, the detective points his gun at David, telling him to put his gun down. David then puts his gun down. The detective is too scared to jump down to take control of the situation. He tries to find an easier way down. The detective doesn't realize that. David is planning to get the gun back to shoot him. While Eddie tries to honestly help the detective get down, David quickly tries to get the gun, resulting in David getting shot. David gets his fingers shot off, then he gets extremely mad. And picks up the gun in the detective's face. Getting shot at, in the process. Sari and Henry make it to a river, and Sari notices Didi's sweater, realizing they're getting close. They cross the river, and the film then cuts to Didi, sitting in a cave, injured and all alone. While the detective and David argue, Eddie and Stash try to get David to calm down. The detective assures them, all three of them will spend 10 to 15 years once David throws his gun. Stash, hearing this, tells the detective that he doesn't belong there and that he's innocent. David then sees a bear from a distance and warns everyone and tells them to not move. The detective thought it was a trick until he sees the bear for himself. The bear gets closer to the gazebo forcing David to hide and stay away. Eddie and Stash play dead, while they wait for the bear to leave. The bear ends up walking towards Stash and Eddie. The bear began to smell Eddie, before he shortly passes out on top of him. Eddie calls out for help, but no one helps him. While, Sari and Henry, walk in the forest. They see a man crying out for help, the man happens to be Olaf. Olaf is crying because, Elsa, his wife was eaten by a bear. The mom tells Olaf that she's looking for her daughter, that was attacked by the bear, and asks him if he's seen her. Olaf then tells them to follow him. While Eddie is still stuck under the bear, David signaled to the detective that he wanted to make peace. He proposed that they work together to verify if the bear is dead or alive. As he goes to check the bear's pulse, some cocaine accidentally falls out of his back pocket. The bear catches a whiff of the scent and suddenly wakes up. David lets Stash and Eddie know that the bear is still breathing. The bear ends up getting up and everyone moves back. David aims his gun, but before he shoots, the bear picks up the cocaine package that David dropped and swallows the entire thing. David asks if he should shoot, but the detective would rather see the effect it has on the bear. The bear starts making snow angels on dirt, while everyone looks at the bear in confusion. The bear then gets up and grabs Eddie, but doesn't bite him. Everyone is confused on what the bear is doing. David insists that they shoot the bear but Eddie is scared that he will get hit with a bullet. 
everyone starts giving Eddie advice at the same time while the bear seems to be hugging him from the back. Just as the bear is about to eat him, the detective calls out to the bear and bites open two packs of cocaine. The bear then starts getting showered in cocaine. The bear absolutely loves it. Everyone looks at the bear confused. The detective throws more cocaine on the bear before throwing it away from everyone. This gives everyone a chance to run away, but David points his gun at the detective demanding him to give him the duffel bag because it's worth $14 million. The detective reminds David of the truce they have and tells him to leave for his own good. But then out of nowhere, the detective gets shot, randomly. The shooter happens to be Sid White. The bear hears the shots, David and Eddie run away, and the detective kicks the duffel bag filled with cocaine off the roof. The bear sees this and approaches it. David and Eddie run into Sid, they tell him they got some of the cocaine, but a bear ate most of it. Sid tells his son Eddie, that he needs all the cocaine that was lost, or bad people will come to hurt Sid and the family. Sid makes it very clear that they don't have a choice. David lets Sid know that they found a bag where they were at. Once they arrive they question the detective, the detective lets them know that he gave the bag to the bear. Sid asks where the bear went, but the detective says is that he's been trying to catch him for years. The detective's partner comes out, giving Bob some hope, until she reveals that she's been working with the bad people. I'm sorry, Bob. The detective's trust in her, and the department's trust in her, led to a strong feeling of betrayal. The detective starts thinking about his dog in his last moments. Sid then tells the detective to point where the bear went or he will kill his dog. The detective laughs at them for wanting to chase down a bear that is on cocaine. Everyone then starts to leave, including his partner, leaving the detective to die alone. The next scene cuts to the bear dragging the bag to an unknown location. Olaf takes Sari and Henry to a cave, but warns them about a lurking bear inside. He tells them they shouldn't go inside but then gives them a flashlight for them to use. Sid, Eddie, David and the cops start tracking the bear down. Sari and Henry enter the cave. While walking through the cave, they find one of the duffel bags, they shine their light on it and discover three baby bears around it covered in cocaine. They finally find Didi and she lets them know that the baby bears are harmless. They are happy they found each other. Didi then shows her mom her wounded leg. Didi apologizes to her mom about skipping school and her mom is just happy she's okay. They hear somebody scream and get scared because the bear can be close. So they try and find an exit. While at the same time, Sid finds the cave. Inside, they find a duffel bag, with cocaine all over the place and they pick it up. Everyone in the group wants to leave but Sid wants to keep going. The cop, then turns her back to leave and then Sid aims his gun at her. David gets in the way and the cop leaves. Leaving just Sid Eddie, and David. Sid calls them soft and pathetic. While they walk deeper into the cave, Sari notices people talking. She goes to hide in front of the kids. Sid finds another bag but then he sees Sari. Take it easy, take it easy. David suggests they leave because of the kids, but Sid won't leave without the bag. Eddie tries to retrieve the cocaine but it's stuck. Sari lets them know that she's leaving and that she won't tell anyone. But Sid aims his gun at her and lets her know no one is leaving. The cubs start walking toward Sid, and Sid tells Eddie and David to shoot it. But they both refuse, and put their gun down. Sid, tosses his gun at David but the mom catches it instead, taking full control of the situation. She tells Sid she's taking the kids home, then the cocaine bear then appears on top of them. As the bear gets closer, the mom tells the kids that they have to jump, so they all jump after a count to three and. Sid starts to feed the cubs cocaine so that they can leave him alone. Sid Eddie and David notice the bear looking at them, so Sid takes the gun Eddie put down. He shoots the bear when it gets in front of him, but he misses, hitting David in the neck. He shoots again hitting the bear causing it to fall off and die. Sid tries to get the duffel bag and, a pack of cocaine falls out, and breaks open, the bear smells this and instantly wakes up with 100% energy. While Sid is still trying to get the bag, the bear climbs its way back up. The bear pushes him and this led to him hanging from his neck. The bear then spins him, and cuts his stomach open. The bear then drops him and lets his cubs eat him. They then finish him by throwing him off the cliff, but the bears keep the cocaine. The mom, Didi, and Henry made it out okay, but David is dying out in Eddie's arms. Eddie starts telling him how much he means to him as a friend. He explains to him that he didn't mean all the bad stuff he was telling to David. Out of nowhere, the mom starts to swim towards David. This entire time the mom was a nurse. In the end, everyone goes home, the cop ends up giving Eddie, the detective's dog and they say their goodbyes, and David ends up making it out alive after getting saved by Sari. Stash is finally on his way to move to New York alone, because unfortunately his friends died. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on post notifications, and give a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching.